from the misty gates of the underworld to the submerged columns of an underwater temple, there are countless and believable places to discover in Greece. By taking the road less traveled, visitors can find themselves in film-like scenarios. Here is Hellenica's list of the seven most spectacular Greek locations. Your friends will not believe they exist. One of our recommended swimming spots has always been the island of Elafonisos, the island of deer, which is located in, in proximity to the southeastern part of the Peloponnese Peninsula. For centuries, many believed that the island was once connected to the mainland. They would base their beliefs on the writings of the geographer Pafsanias, who had described the peninsula called Onugnathos, Tanki's jaw. In the 1960s, a team of archaeologists made a discovery that corroborated the existence of a populated peninsula that connected the Lafonisos to the Peloponnese. The sunken city of Pavlopetri is the oldest submerged city known to this day. Dating back to 3500 BC, it falls under UNESCO's protection of underwater cultural heritage. Although you're not allowed to dive at Pavlopetri for recreational purposes, you can snorkel above the sunken city and explore the nearby land-based ruins. Prevail Forest looks like the oasis thirsty travelers would pray for on a sandy dune. A crystal-clear river surrounded by date palm trees creates an exotic scenery that few would believe is located in Greece. The Finicodasos palm forest is located below the monastery of Preveli, at the south of the island of Crete. Its river, called Megalos Potamos, Big River, merges with the waters of the sea at Preveli Beach. Exploring the palm forest, but also the Wanadavai, at the eastern part of the island, is a truly magnificent experience. Now, a magical, fairy tale like place is located in Rhodes, the island of the Knights Templar, known for its palaces and castles, has a dedicated valley to Petaludes, butterflies. The Butterfly Valley of Rhodes is a unique sightseeing location between the Calopetra Monastery and the residential area of the Pano Calamonas. Once you get there, you will witness a green area surrounded by ponds, waterfalls, and tall sweet gum trees that attract the Jersey tiger moth. The butterflies can be found laying on the tree trunks and flying around between May and September, with their life cycle ending with the summer season. Another unbelievable place in Greece is no other than Melisani Lake Cave near Sami at Kefalonia Island of Western Greece. It is an underground cave that is now partly exposed due to the natural dissolution of the rock formation above it. The lake cave takes its name from a mythical nymph named Melisani, who drowned after God Pan rejected her love. The cave itself was dedicated to Pan, with archaeological research on the site revealing a sanctuary on the lake's small islet. You can access it by boat with a guided tour. The entrance is via an underground tunnel with magnificent mineral formations. Thanks to the small opening at the top of the cave, sunlight does reach the crystal clear waters creating a sapphire realms of water names. Mount Olympus, known for the 12 ancient gods and goddesses who were believed to reside there, 
is a truly majestic location. But due to how prestigious it is, countless hikers and climbers visit Mount Olympus every year. On the other hand, if you told your friends that you visited another Olympus, one led by strong women wearing their unique folk costumes, would they believe you? Olympus, Olympos or Elimpos is a traditional village and former self-governing community on the island of Karpathos in southeastern Greece. Located on the inaccessible steep hills of the island, it has maintained its rich cultural heritage that dates back to at least the 7th century AD. At the same time, the Greek islands were raided by the vicious Saracen pirates. To avoid them, islanders would often seek refuge to mountaintops and cliffs that are hard to observe and reach from the ports. Olympus is believed to have been established by the Carpathians for this exact region. The isolation of Olympus for centuries is evident in its architecture, clothing style, local dialect and traditions. The houses resemble the ones of other traditional islands of the Aegean Sea, following the architecture of the fortified medieval island settlements, but with their unique local elements. The local women continue to wear their traditional clothes and follow a lifestyle that has survived through the centuries. They are also the main participants of the special religious ceremonies. The village was completely inaccessible till the early 1990s, when the works to connect it with the rest of the island by road were finalized. After taking the road less traveled, the visitor would perhaps notice that the residents are predominantly female. This comes as no surprise, as the Carpathian Olympus has always been believed to be a matriarchal settlement, where the first daughters of the family inherited the wealth and power from their mothers. The women do express their femininity and fulfill traditional female roles, instead of showcasing male characteristics in an effort to be seen as equal, they embrace their femininity, which is perceived as divinely powerful in their society. Perhaps someone would argue that, at the moment, Matera is not off the beaten path. However, we could not exclude this peculiar rock formations in central Greece from a list of unbelievable places. The inaccessible steep, stanced, steep sandstone peaks, which are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, are believed to have formed during the Paleogene period by wind, water and temperature withering. What makes these unique rocks more impressive is that they house some of the most spectacular Byzantine monasteries in the world. Starting around the 9th century AD, Christian Orthodox monks sought isolation at the tops of Meteora, from where they could reach God with their prayers. Around the 11th century, monasteries would appear atop of six of these rocks, with the monks using ropes to climb up and down the residences. No matter how many photos or videos someone may have seen of Meteora, visiting them will still be a truly unreal experience. Hades is the Greek underworld, the kingdom of god Plutonas and Persephone, where the dead and all the dark spirits reside. Greeks would recognize certain locations as gates to the underworld, but what if I told you that you can visit some of them today? In Epirus region, close to the river Acheron, where Haron would ferry the souls of the dead on his macabre boat, there is a canyon that leads to one of the main gates to Hades. The spectacular scenery consists of the crystal clear waters of the river, combined with the rich vegetation of the area. Near the canyon, 
There used to be the oracle of the dead, the Necromadion, which ancient Greeks had devoted to Hades and Persephone, seeking prophecies and unspoken truths from the necromancers. The exact location of the Necromadion is disputed, with many believing that it is located to a site near the village of Mesopotamus. Now I am wondering, what are your thoughts on these truly unbelievable places in Greece? If a friend told you that they visited the gates of Hades or snorkeled above the sunken city near Elaphonisos, would you believe them? And most importantly, what other places would you add to the list? What are some spectacular locations in your countries? I look forward to reading your comments down below. But before you go, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. In the description you will find your Udemy discount to learn Greek with me and more info about my book Stories to Learn Greek. See you again. Isto epanidin. Music